I was uh, trolling the area, I noticed they were going to the house one night. Uh, sometimes I would, uh, anyway, I put her down as a potential victim. Uh, Let me ask you one thing, Mr. Rader. You used that term when you were patrolling the area. What do you mean by that? It's called stalking or trolling. So you were not uh, working in any form or fashion? You well, were just... I don't know. If, if, you know. if you read much about serial killers, they go through what they call the different phases. Uh, that's one of the phases they go through as a, a, as a trolling stage. You're basically, you're looking for a victim at that time. And that, you could be trolling for months or years. But once you lock in on a certain person, then you become a stalking. And that might be several of them, but you really hone in on that person. Uh, they, they basically come the, that's, that's the victim, or the, that's what you want to do. Uh, at first, uh, she was uh, spotted, and then I did a little homework. I dropped by once to check the mailbox to see what her name was, uh, found out where she worked. Uh, we stopped by there once uh, at Hillsburg kind of sized her up. I, the more I knew about a person, the, the more I felt comfortable with it. So I did that a couple of times. And then I just selected a night, which was this particular night, to try it, and it worked out. All right. Can you tell me what you did on the night of December 8, 1977? Now, about two or three blocks away, I parked my car and walked to that residence. I knocked at the, knocked at the door first to make sure, see if anybody was in there, because I knew she arrived home at a particular time from where she worked. Uh, nobody answered the door, so I went around to the back of the house, uh, cut the phone lines. I could tell that there wasn't anybody in the uh, north apartment. Uh, broke in and waited for her to come home in the kitchen. All right. Did she come home? Yes, she did. What happened? Uh, I confronted her, uh, told her there I was a, uh, had a problem, sexual problem, that I would have to tie her up and have sex with her. Uh, she was uh, a little upset. Uh, we talked for a while. Uh, she smoked a cigarette. Uh, while, the, while we smoked a cigarette, I went through her purse, uh, identifying some stuff. And she finally said, uh, well, let's get this over with so I can go call the police. And I said, okay. And she said, can I go to the bathroom? And I said, yes. Uh, she went to the bathroom and, came, and I told her when she came out to make sure that she was undressed. And, uh, when she came out, I uh, handcuffed her, and uh, I don't really remember whether, sir. You handcuffed her. You had a pair of handcuffs. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. What happened? Then? Well, anyway, I had her. I handcuffed her. Had to lay on the bed, and then I tied her feet, and, uh, and then I, I I was also undressed to a certain degree, and then I got on top of her, and then I reached over. Took either either her feet were tied or not tied. Anyway, I took I think I had a belt. I took the belt and then strangled her with a belt at that time. All right. All right. After you had strangled her, what happened then? Okay. Uh, after I strangled her with the belt, I took the belt off and retied that with pantyhose, real tight. Uh, removed the handcuffs and uh, tied those with uh, with pantyhose. Can't remember the colors right now. Uh, I think I maybe retied her feet. What they had not, and they were probably already tied. Her feet were, uh, and at that time, uh, uh, masturbated, sir. Uh, 